आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज इन टूडेज एपिसोड वी रिमेंबर एजुकेशनिस्ट एंड गांधी फ्रीडम फाइटर सैफुद्दीन किचलू हु वॉज बोर्न ऑन द फिफ्टींथ ऑफ जनवरी एटीन एटी एट इन अमृतसर पंजाब किचलू डिवोटेड हिज लाइफ टू प्रिजर्विंग कॉम्यूनल हार्मनी इन इंडिया एंड वॉज एट द फोर फ्रंट ऑफ द प्रोटेस्ट अगेंस्ट द रोल एट एक्ट इन अमृतसर A lawyer by profession, Kichlu, alongside fellow freedom fighter Satyapal, led a strike to agitate people against British oppression. In a public gathering in Amritsar on 30th March 1919, addressing a gathering of 30,000 people, he said, "The message of Mahatma Gandhi has been read to you. All citizens should be prepared for resistance. This does not mean." that this sacred town or country should be flooded with blood the resistance should be a passive one do not use harsh words in respect of any policeman or traitor which might cause him pain or lead to the possibility of a breach of peace the british were alarmed by the growing resistance against the rolat act and they arrested kichlu and satyapal on the 10th april and sent them to dharamshala Their arrest triggered the mass gathering at Jallianwala Bagh which was violently crushed by General Dyer massacring hundreds of innocent people on 13th April 1919 Kichlu was eventually released from prison in December 1919. Kichlu was instrumental in the establishment of Swaraj Ashram in January 1921 at Amritsar to train young men for national work and to promote Hindu-Muslim unity. Saifuddin Kichlu was repeatedly arrested by the British authorities and spent a total of 14 years in jail. Kichlu was also the chairman of the reception committee of the Congress session in Lahore when on 26 January 1930 the Indian National Congress declared Indian independence. Kichlu was supporter of Bhagat Singh and was actively involved with him in Naujawan Bharat Sabha. He was also a member of the foundation committee of Jamia Millia Islamia. <laughs> In 1947, Kichlu strongly opposed the acceptance of the partition of India. He spoke out against it at public meetings across the country. He called it a blatant surrender of nationalism for communalism. He was the founder president of the All India Peace Council besides remaining vice president of the World Peace Council. He received the Stalin Peace Prize in 1952. In 1951 the government of India made Kichlu along with Jawaharlal Nehru and Maulana Abul Kalam Azad life trustees of the Jallianwala Bagh National Memorial Trust he died on 9th October 1963 we salute the great nationalist